Hi there. Now, before we start the last part of this question, just a quick reminder that we were given this circle with centre C that has equation x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 10y minus 19 equals 0. And in the first part, we had to find the coordinates of C and the radius of the circle. And we found out that the centre C had coordinates 1 minus 5 and the radius was 3 root 5. Then we had to go on to verify that the point 7 minus 2 lies on the circumference of the circle. Now in part 3, we're asked to find the equation of the tangent to the circle at the point 7 minus 2. Given your answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a, b and c are integers for 5 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now the answer to this problem is that the equation of the tangent is 2x plus y minus 12 equals 0. Now if you didn't get this result, what I'll do is I'll take you through the solution. Now first of all, what I'd want to do is a sketch of the circle. It's got the centre C with coordinates 1 minus 5, and we've already seen that the point 7 minus 2 lies on the circumference. So we've got to find then the equation of the tangent. Now being a straight line, it's got the form y equals mx plus c, but I'm not going to use that form. I prefer to use the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. It's a lot easier to work with. And we should be familiar with this. x1, y1 is a point on the line. So I'm going to choose the point 7 minus 2. And as for m, we need to work out m, the gradient of the tangent. And we can do that very easily by working out the gradient of the radius and then using the perpendicular gradient rule, that is the product of the gradients should equal minus 1 to get the gradient of the tangent. So once I've got the gradient of the tangent, I can then work out the equation of the tangent, then rearrange the equation into this form. So that's how I'm going to go about this particular question. Now, I'm going to say that this point here, let's give it a name, let's just call it, say, P. So what I'm going to work out, first of all, is the gradient of CP. So we'll start with that, gradient of CP. And to work out the gradient, it's going to be the difference in the y-coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. I'm going to start with the minus 2 here. So it's been minus 2 minus the minus 5 here. And that's divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. So I started with the minus 2, so I must start with the 7 there. So it'll be 7 minus and then the 1. I could do it the other way around, it doesn't make any difference. I could do minus 5 minus minus 2 divided by 1 minus 7. I'll still get the same answer, and that answer is that for, the, for my version, we've got minus 2 plus 5, which is 3, and that's divided by 7 minus 1, which is 6. So that's going to come to 1 half then. So using the perpendicular gradient rule, the gradient of the tangent must be minus 2. We'll just put it in here, therefore gradient of tangent okay, equals minus 2. Remember, the quickest way to do this is just to invert the fraction and switch the sign. So that you now can see that half multiplied by minus 2 would give minus 1. The perpendicular gradient rule then. OK, well, we've got everything we need now to therefore get the equation of the tangent. So I'll just write a short intro in here. Therefore, equation of tangent. OK, and we'll just write is, and what is it going to be? Well, using this format, it's going to be y minus y1, so that's minus minus 2, 
equals m, the gradient, which we now have seen is minus 2, and that's multiplied by x minus x1, x1 being the 7. So we'll just clean this up. We've got y plus 2 here equals, and if we expand the bracket, we've got minus 2x, and minus 2 times minus 7 is plus 14. I'm going to add 2x to both sides so that I get my ax being a positive value. So we've got 2x, then we've got plus y, and then we've got 2 minus 14. I'm going to subtract 14 from both sides, and that leaves me with minus 12, and that equals 0. So it's in that format, ax plus by plus c equals 0. If we had to quote the values of a, b, and c, as integers, a would have been 2, b would have been a 1, and c would have been minus 12. Okay.